Year 12, FM5, annuities and loan repayments. Now this should be uh, fairly new because I didn't know what an annuity was before I started teaching general maths. Right, consider the situation. Right, I want to save some money. I put in, let's say, every week I put some money into a savings account. Right, the same amount every week. Right, $20. Now, if you think about this, and I earn some interest on that because, you know, it's a savings account. So I earn interest... Uh, on that twenty dollars that's in there, right? Or in fact, in the first month, I put twenty dollars in. At the end of the month, right, it hasn't been in there, so I don't earn any interest. Second interest, I earn interest on twenty dollars plus. I put another twenty dollars in, right? So now I've got forty dollars plus some interest. The next month, there's some extra interest earned, earned on a different sum now, uh, plus another contribution, right? And it grows and grows and grows. A little bit complicated. Would work well with an Excel spreadsheet, yeah. Um, this is called an annuity. Okay, they have a couple of different uses. Um, they can be for things like uh, saving money, like that. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Or your superannuation works a little bit like that. And loan repayments kind of work like that, but in reverse. Anyway, anyway we're going to look at an example, uh, as you would expect. Now, the future value of an annuity is best understood, I think, when you think about that situation of saving some money, right? So I'm putting a the same amount of money once every period of time, whether it's a week, month, a year, or whatever else. I put the same amount into this savings account uh, every period. The future value is what that's going to be worth at some point in the future. Now, usually, right, we do this with a table. Normally, you will be given a table that will give you what $1 per contribution is going to grow to. Okay, so look at this table here, right? And all these calculations are done for us. Look at this table here. If I'm putting $1 into this fund, right, and it earns, I don't know, 5% interest, right? After one period, there's only $1 in there because it hasn't earned any interest. After two periods, it's got $2 that I've put in there plus these five cents worth of interest, right? Three after three periods, I've put three dollars in and so on. Now, what if I'm not putting one dollar in? Well, maybe I'm putting fifty dollars in. I multiply this value here, whatever we get here, we multiply this by fifty dollars or whatever it is. Yeah, here's an example. All right, example nine, press pause, read the question. I'm not going to read it out. Now, we some critical things here we need to recognize that it's an annuity. Right, future value is all we've learned about so far. In fact, we're still learning about it. But future value, that's important. This is going to be, this is my regular contribution each year, right, each year, 7% per annum. Per annum, yeah, per annum is important. For nine years. Right, lots of things that we've got to get. Now, I've got a table here. Here it is. Here's my table. The future value, right, good. This is a future value table. Be careful. Don't use the wrong table. Future value table. Now it's 7%, so it's going to be somewhere along here, because per year we're making yearly contributions. Nine years, so... We're along here, what do you know? That means that after nine years, earning 7% interest, I'm going to have $11.97.8 for every dollar that I put in. Right, but I'm not putting in one dollar, I'm putting in... $1,500 per unit uh, per period, so my future value, FV, is 1,500 times 11.9780, if you will. Press pause. What does that equal? Well, it equals $17,967. Now, I like to do a little bit of a check here. I like to think, well, what if I hadn't earned any interest? Right? What if I just put $1,500 in for nine years, well, I would have one uh, about $13,000, right? So I've got to figure that's a little bit more than $13,000, right? In fact, we can see we've earned four, uh, nearly $5,000, no, $4,500 in interest, yeah? Okay, it's a bit complicated because it's being earned on different amounts at different points in time, yeah? The miracle of compound interest, right? You might want to pause the video at this stage. Go back, have another look, see if that makes sense to you, do it again. Right? See that it works. But let's look at another example now. We're going to use the same table. And we are going to mix some things up here. So calculate the future value. Good. 
For the time being, that's all we know how to do, but anyway. $400, now this is every six months, every six months per annum, right? So that's gonna be equivalent to 7% per six months, yeah. That's important. Right, my contributions are every six months, it's compounding six monthly. Right, we can't do it any other way. Our contribution period has got to be the same as the compounding period. Okay, so we have changed our 7% per annum to 7... Sorry, 14% per annum to 7% per six months. Right, so now that I know that I am making four years is going to be... Be careful there. Eight by six months. Tiny little writing. Okay, so I have eight contributions at 7%. Right, so in the 7% column again. This time, 8 contributions, yeah? 8 here. Alright, so that's going to be 400. My future value is 400 times 10.2598. I'll leave you to work out that one. Let's look at the next one. $600, yeah, so that's fine. Every 3 months for 2 years, so how many lots of three months is two years? So it's four every year. That's eight again. Jeez. Okay, so that's going to be eight contributions, 12% per annum, which is, hmm, well, I have to divide that by four because it's every three months, four contributions a year. So I end up with 3% per three months. Right, so I've got eight contributions at 3%. Right, it's compounding quarterly. We should be, uh, you know, they've got to match quarterly in three months. Contributions and that. So now, I need the 3% column. This is my 3% column. Right, I'm after this figure here. So my future value is $600 by 8.8923. So far, so good. One more, one more. Now, $100, we're going to multiply by 100 at the end. Five years, 10% per annum. Oh, wait, every month. Every month. Whoa, threw me a curveball, this one. All right, should look more carefully. Every month. Hmm. Now, I've been saying over and over again that our contribution period has to be the same as our compounding frequency. Well, you know what? What's going to happen here? Every month, it's compounding every six months. So... It's the same as me making a contribution every six months, okay? So, even though it's 100 every month, I'm going to say that's the same as $600 per six months, yeah? Because it's only going to calculate my interest every six months. So, it doesn't matter sort of what's happening in between time. $600 every six months. So, my five years becomes 10 by six months. My 10% per annum becomes 5% per six months. Now, 5% column, one, two, three, four, five. Be very careful. Um, I'm, I remember that these columns here are working in uh, every 1%, but sometimes you get like one, two, three, five, 10, 12, 18% or something. Be careful, read the columns at the top, make sure that you're in the 5% column. I have, 10 periods here. What did I say? 10 here. Right. This is my figure here. So I have $600. My future value is $600 by 12.5779. Okay. That's it. I'm just going to press pause and work those things out so you can check your answers. That'll be great. But you work those things out. Uh, that's the future value of an annuity. Some things to remember, an annuity is where you make regular contributions that are earning interest, uh, earning interest on the balance of your savings at any point in time. Yep. A bit like compound interest, but with extra money going in. The future value is what that annuity will be worth at some point in the future. Okay, okay so here are our final answers there. Okay, I hope that you got the same ones. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're wrong. Uh, check them out. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, uh, what's the mantra? Uh, comment, like, 
subscribe. Yeah, do those things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, please watch the video. Make some notes, please. Come to class and ask some questions about this, and we will work through some examples so that I can be there and help you. Please make sure you watch the video. Maybe watch it again. Maybe watch it twice. It's that good. Yep. Okay. See you in class.